The data resolution workflow is a way of documenting any potential issues that occur in the data in REDCap. It allows you to formally open a query about an issue, document all discussion and review about the query, and have a final resolution, all carefully logged and easily available for anyone reviewing the project. The data resolution workflow is not enabled by default in REDCap. To enable it, you'll need to go to the Project Setup page, enable Optional Modules and Customizations, and click on Additional Customizations. Then you'll scroll down to Enable Field Comment Log or Data Resolution Workflow. By default in REDCap projects, the field comment log is what you're going to see enabled. You'll have to come to the drop-down and choose that you want the data resolution workflow. REDCap also provides a brief summary of what the data resolution workflow does, and there's a link to the Vanderbilt video on it that is easily referenceable when you're working on this in your project. After you've enabled it, your next step is going to be to set up the user rights. Unlike with the field comment log, with the data resolution workflow, you have to specify the exact rights for each user in the project. You can say that people have no access to it, that they can only see what has happened with it, that they can only open queries or only respond, that they can do both, or that they can do everything. This user has the ability to open, close, and respond to queries. And this user has the ability to open queries only. They can't go back and respond to open queries. The two roles correspond to a project manager and someone who does data entry, respectively. To open a data query, you would be doing data entry. And the person doing data entry may notice something that doesn't look right to them. They can open a query by clicking on the speech bubble. If it's their first time doing data entry, they'll have to save the record before they can open the data resolution pop-up. This is because the record doesn't actually exist in the database yet. Here, they can mark the value as verified, or they can open the query. Once they open it, they can assign it to a specific user on the project to review, and they can specify that they want to notify this user that a query has been opened and assigned to them. It really works very much like a ticketing system. Then they can put in a comment. If this person is doing transcription, they may note that there may be an inconsistency. After the query has been opened, anyone reviewing the record would notice it because of the speech bubble with an exclamation mark that has been highlighted. Then the person could finish filling out the record and exit. The fact there is an open issue can be seen under Data Quality or under Resolve Issues. Resolve Issues will take you straight to the data resolution workflow, where it will note that there are two open issues that this person needs to deal with. Here we can see the open issue we just created. It'll give us the record ID, tell us what the field type is, if it's been assigned to a specific user, it was not yet, how long it has been opened, what the update was, and what the most recent update was. People can sort for open, verified, de-verified, unresponded and responded, and closed issues. They can look at things that involve all fields and pools, or filtered down versions, and they can go to ones that are filtered just for themselves. A nice option with this is that you, you could go back and create a project bookmark. If I just wanted to see the issues that were assigned to me, I could do that. Take the specific URL. And create a bookmark. And now there's a link on the page that will take me directly to my issues and my open issues only. To work on the issue, I can click on the comment to see what is going on. Then I can choose a default response that I've gone in and corrected it. 
because there's data missing a typographical error the wrong source used, that it was verified, or other. If I need to, I can also upload documentation to support my response. Here, we'll just mark it as verified, and then we must put in a comment and respond to the query. And then I can go in and close the query or send it back for further attention. And we'll cho simply choose to close this query. My project is filtered to show only open and unresolved issues, so that particular issue has now disappeared from the dash. I can choose instead to look at all closed issues, where I can see it is still logged, and that it was only with all the information involved. Anytime I click on this, I can see all the conversation, and I can choose to export the data resolution workflow too, very similar to how I could re export the general REDCap log. The data resolution workflow also allows you to see resolution metrics. So here I can see the number of open and closed query, the average time things remain unsolved, the average time for response, the most queried fields, the most queried records, and the most queried data quality rules. The data resolution workflow is helpful because in the moment it is often fairly easy to fl just flag an issue and deal with it. But the truth is, when you're months or years down the line, trying to review the data and understand how the pro everything may have changed over the course of the project, you're very unlikely to actually remember what the exact issue was with a piece of data, how it was changed, and who was involved. The data resolution workflow makes sure that every issue is opened specifically, addressed, closed, and that the entire process is logged with commentary so that you can always return and know what the story is behind any piece of data in your project.